But wait, oh. I'm gonna transform into my alter ego. Ultimate <laughs> now I'm ready for the tech news. Wow. Speaking of tech news, Intel remembers the good times. Sure butchered that segue. When Nvidia had some actual competition in the graphics space. The company has released a flashy video teasing its discrete graphics cards, along with a list of its previous achievements in graphics. Like the truly mind shattering feat of being the first PC graphics to play Netflix movies in 4K. Uh, Intel's graphics ambitions are the reason why they hired AMD's former head of graphics, Raja Kaduri, earlier this year. Maybe they have some real innovation to bring to the table, or maybe they're just looking to shift focus from the fact that they just can't seem to get past the 14 nanometer node. I mean, when you've been with something that long, you know, you can't drop it like it's nothing. Speaking of feelings, the internet is feeling the hype, perhaps too much so, about Nvidia's upcoming graphics card announcement on Monday. We've seen leaks of MSI's Gaming X Trio and Duke versions of the RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti. We've seen photos of the RTX 2080's PCB, oh, so scandalous, complete with the actual GPU and info about the specs, claiming that the 2080 Ti has 11 gigs of GDDR6 memory with 4,352 CUDA cores, while the 2080 has eight gigs of VRAM with 2944 CUDA cores. We're still waiting to hear about how many gig arrays the new cards will have, though, since the RTX denotes real-time ray tracing capabilities. The new Quadros have 10 gig arrays, which is, there's, there's not nearly enough gig arrays around here. I, I've been saying for years, yeah. if only we had more gig arrays. Yeah. Well, then I, there, there'll be, then there'll be no shortage of gig arrays. Yeah. And Asus wasn't content with making the ROG Zephyrus the world's thinnest gaming laptop once. They had to do it a second time with the logically named Zephyrus S for smooth, Small. smooth operator. And they had to unveil it with the world's most over the top and unnecessary launch video ever, complete with flashy action scenes that are meant to mirror the flashiness of the laptop or um, Ed from accounting was like, you know what? I've always just dreamed of making a short film yeah. with these characters fighting each other in an epic battle. Would be so cool. uh, wouldn't that be cool? Wow. And then he just allocated his own budget. Anyway, the 15 inch notebook is 14.95 millimeters thin with an eighth gen Intel Core i7 GTX 1060 or 1070 Max-Q graphics, a 1080p screen with a 144 hertz refresh rate and three milliseconds response time. Oh, and Asus also unveiled the RG Strix Scar 2, a 17 inch gaming machine, but its launch video was way less flashy, so you don't want that one. It's time for Snazzy Snippets, brought to you by the snazziest Canadian electronics retailer, Memory Express. Their Uber price beat guarantee means that Memory Express will beat any authorized Canadian retailer's oh. price by 10% of the difference, both in store and online. Now that's snazzy. Plus they have awesome customer care with 15 day returns and exchanges. So Canadians, do yourself a maple syrup in favor and check out Memory Express at the link in the description. Maple syrup can be like yeah. a a like cuss bit. word, yeah. Google's in hot water, speaking of cuss words, after reports revealed that Google apps and websites continue to track users' locations even when location history is turned off. So Google has changed the language, this is the obvious response, that it uses to describe location tracking so you feel better about the fact that you're probably being tracked all the time, everywhere by everything, anyway. So you might as well just give up. Thanks, Google. That was the right thing to do. Valve, if for some reason, is still trying to squeeze some life out of the dead, lifeless corpse of Steam machines. Reddit users have found that files buried in the Steam UI reference something called Steam Play, which would let Windows games run on Steam OS and other Linux flavors via a virtual machine. Or, 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 or. Or, 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 or. Yes, hey, nice. you could just buy a Windows machine. Hmm. It's just like a Steam machine, but with Windows. You'll love the sunlight. Motorola unveiled their new P30 smartphone, which appears to be almost a carbon copy of the iPhone 10, right down to the home screen wallpaper. Now, I'm not sure whether this was Motorola putting on like a, a, a workshop on how to plagiarize. 
or maybe we're just getting to the limit of how different phones can look from each other. Except I really don't think it's that second one. Like really, what are you guys doing? Like are we, we're just, it's like we're just adding ugly things for the hell of it. Yeah. Notches, folding screens. What's wrong with folding screens? You being a hater? Hater. ARM is super confident that its next Cortex CPUs are going to beat Intel's laptop Core i5s, and that'll be next year. But the chips aren't released yet, so this appears to be the chip maker equivalent of like, you know, before the WWE match, when they like stand there at each other, I'm gonna rip you apart! but like nerdier. And getting robots to balance properly is hard, but researchers from the University of Tokyo have found a solution. Just give the robot a drone for a head. That way, it'll still stumble around, but it'll make a lot more noise and have less control. Yeah. We are like this close to Deus Ex Machina or Ex Machina, or whatever Ex that, I got games and movies confused. Or I robot. It's a better yeah. one, the Iron Man. One of those. The suits move without him in it sometimes, right. I think. Anyway, we're at the end of this episode of Tech Linked, so I'm gonna transform oh. back into Clark Kent. Whoa! Subscribe if you like tech news. How'd you do that? Don't subscribe if you wanna go back to staring at rocks. Yeah. Mind you, that was a great time. Did, what a fantastic that summer. doesn't make sense now, because nope. I threw out my intro. I threw out your intro. Ah. I threw it out like this. Oh. Whoa! Why?